Okay, so a very interesting question was asked that in sepsis or septic shock, if the patient is having tachycardia with the heart rate of 140, 150, 160 for a longer period of time, should we use beta blocker to control the heart rate? So understand that in sepsis or septic shock, the increase in the heart rate in the range of 140, 150, 60s, it's an adaptive response to maintain the uh, blood pressure of the patient because the shock in septic shock is multifactorial. It could be vasodilatory shock because of the uh, vasodilatation because of due to sepsis. It could be hypovolemic shock because of the fluid deficit. And so this heart rate, this tachycardia is, a, is an adaptive response to maintain the blood pressure of that patient. So now if we control the heart rate by the beta blockers or any other drug, it will suppress this adaptive response and this will compromise the hemodynamics of the patient and the shock can further worsen. So that's why, that's why the, traditionally it has been not recommended that we should use beta blockers or any other drug which controls the heart rate in septic shock. But having said that, if the patient is a cardiac patient or if the heart rate is of the range of 170, 180 or 160s for a very longer period of time, it can cause tachycardiomyopathy, which can further worsen the shock. So some people or some studies have tried to use short acting beta blocker like esmolol sort of things to control the heart rate so that the tachycardiomyopathy can be prevented. So there are very mixed results. Some had some benefits, some had some, in some patient it has worsened. So very mixed result. So as of now, it's an area of research which needs to be done, but there is no standard guideline which recommend that beta blockers or any other drug needs to be used in septic shock to control the heart rate. We should target the cause, what, what is the cause behind that tachycardia. So it's a very subjective thing. It uh, The decision uh, varies from patient to patient uh, case, but in very selective cases, uh, we need to take a call on that. But routinely, in most of the patient, beta blockers should not be used to control the heart rate in septic shock. We should address the cause. Do read more about it.